a really intimate audience. So it's nice to see friends and uh, new people and students. So um, anyway, so the first song I, I did, I just it was just an improvisation I made up and just decided to do that. And then the second song I wrote for my son is called the song for Ethan. So I'm going to continue with uh, another tune I wrote. It's called Ginger Ale Ham. It's all about a, a recipe my mother <laughs> had a brain knows this too. <laughs> Anyways, it was a, we used to always have it at Easter time. It was a Canadian special. It was um, a, a ham cooked with ginger ale. It was delicious. <laughs> Hard to match, but yeah, it was really good. Had to be Canada dry right ginger ale. <laughs> Thank you. 
which is uh, on my album actually waiting for you. So. And the next song I'm going to do is a song I wrote for my daughter. It's, uh, it's called Emily's Dream. Emily's a 14-year-old girl that does everything. <laughs> She's all over the place. So this is a song inspired by her.
George Gershwin tune called I Love You Porter.
French composer uh, Michel Legrand wrote a lot of uh, little romantic tunes. It was kind of in my alley, so I think one that's very becoming to the time of year is it's called You Must Believe in Spring.
finished off this, uh, this little concert with a tune I just wrote recently. It's more of a, we call it a jam tune just to play. And it's, uh, my daughter has this very specific thing she likes from Starbucks. It's, it's called a white chocolate mocha with caramel inside, no whipped cream, and an extra drizzle of caramel over when it's all done. I have to actually show the person at the Starbucks the text she sends me to order it. <laughs> and then it's like six bucks because all of the extra stuff. <laughs> Well, you half a puff of coffee. So, anyway. so I decided to name this tune, this tune a white chocolate mocha with caramel. So. <laughs> Keep
Amen. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just happens. It's, it's happens, yeah. I can, I can play this. You know, 
those of you who are musicians know how complex his work is. Oh. It's, yeah, it's like a lance is safe. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I actually you, said it's physically impossible to do with this. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> How old were you when you discovered you had an ear? I never really thought about it. It's just piano has always been a part of me my whole life. I didn't do any differently. So I just I didn't um, I didn't uh, assume that I was talented. I just because I didn't want to be presumptuous. Because if I thought, well, I'm really good at this, then I won't work at it. So I just I just always practiced that for me. How old were you when you were your first competition? Oh, that was late. Um, I was a little bit late bloomer when I came in, something like that. was, uh, 14, 13. The funny thing I didn't expect it was that it was, a, it was at the Quantas Music Festival in Calgary in Canada where I grew up, and there was um, uh, 27 competitors in this Bach two-part invention oh. competition. And uh, I still remember it was this one. <laughs> There's like, I can't remember, there's like 16 inventions he's written. You could pick any one, I can't remember. Any. But you could, you could, but everybody played the same one, regardless. You had a choice of that, tons, they, everybody picked the same one. <laughs> and then there was, after about these 26 pianists played, they said, well, these competitors, number, you know, five, these five different people, including my name, I, did, I didn't think I'd done well. Five different people said, okay, you're going to play your song again. I'm like, oh, God, I have to play this again? I mean, really, it's really stressful. And so I played it again, and then I won it, and I couldn't believe it. I was like, really? <laughs> I was just like, okay. Because <laughs> I was with a teacher that was so hard on me that um, she kind of was the person that kind of tore you to pieces and then built you back up again. So it made me humble, that's what it did. So, so, and those of your students who were in the audience remember that. But also, <laughs> <laughs> um, I do want to remind everyone, uh, we are so very fortunate because you know, to your Gateway Scholarship Fund, we have a panel of uh, adjudicators who are extraordinary. And this gentleman is one of our panels, so it is wonderful. We sit here and um, evaluate the students, and then we meet around the kitchen table at Maddie's house. And it's quite wonderful, too. Uh, well, if you're going to have a student competing, though, you have to disqualify yourself. <laughs> 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 um, anybody else have any questions? I just want to say I loved what you did with Michelle Legrand. That's really oh, thank you. My favorite composer too. He is. A, he's he's a, he's, he writes beautiful melodies, yeah. and they're very memorable. They stick in your head. Yeah, yeah. Who's from the O Show? Who's in works with the house? Well, we used to. Okay. Or what's he like to work with?
It's the one language we all speak, no matter where you are in the world. So we thank you so much for coming. And you know, just